what we do early on, you know, so improves our quality of life later on, but there's never, it's never too late to start. Hello everyone, Dr. Anna Kabeca here, and today we're gonna to talk about what happens to our bodies, our hormones, our life, from 40 and beyond. So let's talk about what happens in our 40s. And today we're gonna to hit topics such as our menstruation, our menstrual cycle, what's happening hormonally, what's going on with our thyroid. And to discuss this, I am bringing on a very long distance friend, Dr. Lara Bryden. And she has written this amazing book called The Period Repair Manual, which she has featured a comment or two from me in. And so I'm really proud about that as well. It's a fantastic resource. I've had her on Couch Talk before. and We've gotten a lot of questions and interactions and I'm so happy to bring her back to talk about her new and revised book, The Period Repair Manual. And we'll hit on some birth control topics too, because that's a big issue as well. Many women are told in their 40s, let's just put you on birth control until you're done menopause and we'll take it off. Well, we'll talk a little bit about why that is so damaging as well. So let me introduce Lara Bryden. Today, she is a naturopath and she is coming to us all the way from Australia. And yeah. we're in Australia. Actually, I'm in New Zealand this morning. I'm in oh, New, Zealand. New Zealand today, but my clinic is in Sydney, Australia. Okay, I, well, coming from I New Zealand. Divide, yeah, I divide my time between the two countries. Yeah. That is, but I'm, awesome. from, but I'm from Canada, so I'm a yeah international. <laughs> I know we've spoken. I think the last time I interviewed you, you were in Canada. One other time we spoke, you were in Australia, and so now, <laughs> so is home in New Zealand, and then your clinics in Sydney. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Well, good. All over the, so my international friend, Dr. Lara Bryden. So she is a naturopathic doctor with over 20 years experience in women's health. And as I mentioned, her book, The Period Repair Manual, Natural Treatment for Better Hormones and Better Periods is my go-to resource and the number one book I recommend. I am having my daughters read this as their resource because sometimes when mom speaks, daughters don't necessarily listen. But when we say the information is coming from New Zealand and Australia, <laughs> from Dr. Lara Bryden, I think I'll get much better, um, much better interaction from them as well. So again, Lara, it's great to have you here today. Oh, thanks so much, Anna. It's always lovely to chat with you. I'm looking forward to our conversation today. Me too. So let's just start. Like, you know, let's talk about what happens in your 40s. And so, you know, my OBGYN, you're a naturopath with women's health focus. And, and so, you know, what are you seeing happening in women in their 40s? And I'd love to talk about this hormonal roller coaster that many of us, if not most of us, have a journey on. <laughs> Absolutely. So, the endocrinologist, Dr. Jalen Pryor, who helped me with this book, she does a nice analogy. Maybe other people do this analogy that our 40s are kind of a parallel or equivalent to our teenage years. So, you know, during our teenage years, our cycles are ramping up, getting more, becoming more regular. We're not making a lot of progesterone yet, but we're just trying to get in the groove. And then at the other end of things in our 40s, progesterone starts to drop away estrogen starts to do some funny things, cycles can become a little bit irregular or not, but definitely there are some hormonal changes happening. And so along with that, it makes sense. There are gonna be some changes with our, potentially with our mood and sleep and periods. So the, the problems that I highlight in chapter 10 of my book, which is the, what happens in our 40s chapter, I talk about yeah, mood disturbance, sleep, heavy, heavy periods, what are called flooding periods for some women, or as we transition into menopause with dryness and atrophy and concerns about bone health and things like that. Yeah, and that is exactly that exactly true. And that these early early um, changes when we interact when we intervene early, we have a much better longevity quality of life. And yesterday I was at the gym and. Um, a uh, woman I recognized was there and she's like, oh man, you know, I just, she was telling me that she loves Mighty Maka and she's working <laughs> out. And I said, you know, today I just thought of the expressions like I am 
younger than most people my age, you know, just think about that. She was older too. I didn't know how old at the time, but I kind of love just kind of, how do you think about yourself? Well, I'm younger than most people my age, right? And, um, and that's a good way to think about yourself. But yet I asked her, I said, well, how old are you? I was thinking, you know, 54, she's 68 years old. And I said, okay. (laughs) Okay, beautiful, really flawless skin and just energetic, toned. And I said, well, Yolanda, what do you do? What's your regimen? And she goes, well, number one, I just started taking care of myself in my, you know, 30s, in my mid 30s, late 30s, I started taking care of my skin. And I started looking at my nutrition and making sure I was exercising five to six days a week. And I have done this every week since then, you know, regularly taking care of myself. And and so, um, so those, those little things can go a long way. And the earlier we're able to start, we can clear up those symptoms of, you know, hormone imbalance, the perimenopause roller coaster or premenopause roller coaster and sort that, sort that out so that it really affects us when we don't even have to deal with our periods anymore. So I think my point here was that what we can do early on, you know, so improves our quality of life later on, but there's never, it's never too late to start as well. I couldn't agree more. I think I, I will, I give that exact message to a number of my patients. It's like, let's work now in your early forties to kind of to get your hormone receptors stabilized, not too much estrogen, support your progesterone, support your nervous system, support, support your adrenal interaction function access and all of that's going to translate into an easier transition later and you know a more yeah sort of vital hormonal system even after period stop absolutely it's, it's, it's worthwhile investing sooner rather than later yeah thank you for watching this video be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel here and get those notifications and comment below let me know your thoughts what you loved and what your action step is